Welcome back to Mind Eye Media for another 3D review of Star Wars Collectibles. Today we'll take a look at three Star Wars die-cast vehicle toys from the Disney Store. The TIE Fighter, the First Order TIE Fighter, and the Star Destroyer. I picked up these miniatures at a toy convention, and I didn't even know this series of die-cast Star Wars miniatures existed until I saw them at the con. Let's start this review with the original trilogy TIE Fighter. I've collected many TIE Fighters for decades, and based on my previous experience, the Disney Store TIE Fighter knocks it out of the park. This miniature is largely made of die-cast metal, so it feels more solid than any other TIE Fighter I've had. It is brimming with screen-accurate details, from the textured side panels to the semi-transparent cockpit window. Even though the top hatch opens and there's a tiny seat inside, the interior of the TIE doesn't have many details. Yet with such an impressive exterior and solid build, this is only a minor drawback. The box the TIE Fighter came in is predominantly red, with Kylo Ren on the front. This box has a window on the side and a description of the TIE Fighter on the back. As you can see, the back does not list other vehicles that are in this series. The First Order TIE Fighter appears to use most of the same mold as the original Trilogy TIE Fighter, but with a first order paint scheme, a red tinted cockpit window, exterior antenna, modified laser cannons, and slightly bulkier supports for the side panels. It also has an opening cockpit, but the interior is just as basic as the original Trilogy TIE Fighter. This first order TIE is not the two-seater that was seen in The Force Awakens, because the back does not feature the rear gunner opening. I suppose this is the single-seater First Order tie that was in the animated Star Wars Resistance series. The box the First Order tie came in is mostly the same as the original Trilogy TIE Fighter, but with a different description for this vehicle on the back. As you can see here, the TIE Fighter and the First Order TIE Fighter both have the same amounts of detail and die-cast metal, so they make for great complementary pieces for your collection. The Disney Store's Star Destroyer is a fantastic representation of this vehicle. For as much as the Star Destroyer has appeared in the Star Wars saga, it can be a challenge to find an affordable replica that is close to screen accurate and is not a model kit. Fortunately, this Star Destroyer isn't very expensive and it captures a lot of details from its screen counterpart, from the command bridge to the engines in the back to the landing bay opening on the bottom. It even has some minor battle scarring across its surfaces. The box the Star Destroyer was packaged in has the same red decorative scheme as the other boxes, but the picture on the side of the box is of the First Order Star Destroyer, not the original Trilogy Star Destroyer. I don't know why Disney did this. If you like collecting die-cast replicas from the Star Wars universe, these three Disney Store items should be part of your inventory. They are big enough to capture many details from their big screen counterparts, yet small enough for display in any sized Star Wars collection. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe to see more 3D videos like this, and please feel free to leave comments below.